Hey, Andrew here. I'm just uh, I'm in the studio getting ready to uh, receive my first musical guest. It's going to be Eric Casper, and you'll learn more about him in this uh, in the videos coming up. So uh, I'm just waiting, just cleaning up a little bit. Studio is uh, ready to go. I was in here last night um, working with somebody, uh, another musician that I met that I'll probably mention uh, soon. Yeah, and yeah, one more thing. So. Uh, I was uh, Eric was the first person who I had uh, asked to come out here. I didn't hear back from him right away, uh, but I, I heard back from him a few days ago, and he said that he was interested and that he was available to come today. So we didn't really. I've, I've got this plan for how, how I'm going to go about doing this. Um, we need to do some prep time ahead of time um, so that we have an efficient studio day. So we didn't get to do that. So we'll see how it works. We're going to just wing it, and uh, maybe we have to do another session in here. But maybe we'll get it all done in one uh, one go. We'll see. Eric, <laughs> come on in. So let's t tell us your name first off. Eric Casper. Nice, okay, that's a good start. Um, where are you from? I lived in Minden. Um, we moved up here in 89, so I started grade nine, so I did all my high school up here, so that's considered your formative years, and still, I never left, so here I am. Nice. Uh, yeah, probably in 1990, uh, a couple of friends, a little band I was with them and uh, I didn't play at the times so, and they needed bass players so they shoved the bass in my hand saying do this and that's what I did. And actually some of the stuff I have now is probably from uh, like four or five years later I thought it was around 1920 when we had a couple of uh, garage bands we were playing out in places and I wrote songs back then unfortunately I forgot everything with the melodies and everything uh, rhythms and chords that I was playing but I still have the words so I'm like taking some of those words now and redoing them and as new songs now so it was only within I think three years ago George Farrell asked me to be in a blues band uh, that he was creating and I said oh I can do that yeah I've played bass and so I pull up my bass and um, and that's what started me getting back into it and ever since then I, my girls are now at the age where they're growing up and I have more time for myself again just like a painter wants to make paintings I want to, as a musician enjoy that and be an artist and create and even if it's just for myself, that's what I want to do. Yeah. If you're able to put out your feelings, and it's not because everybody has all kinds of good and bad feelings, right? It doesn't matter who you are. Um, but I, it keeps, I think, the brain working and healthy and it's a positive experience. And it's just fun doing it, so. Can you tell us a bit about your, your songwriting process? Yeah, but essentially it's either chords, um, I'll call them a chord pattern, and that's really cool. Um, or sometimes it'll be, I'll just be writing almost like a, a letter to somebody or in a poem or whatever. And I have the words first, sometimes I have to make them match, which is happening a lot now. With the, I already have the words, so I gotta make them, and, and I get one idea. Sometimes it's the chorus, sometimes the first. It, it happens all different ways. It's usually the music, I would say, is the number one. I, I'm just sitting, oh, I like this chord, what's the next chord? What's the next chord gonna become? And then all of a sudden you have two different parts and you mess them together. Um, and then, yeah, and then you just, put words in to kind of fit, so. <laughs> One thing I realized about myself, I don't sing about sunshine and lollipops. Uh, most of my songs um, tend to be about uh, relationships, I guess, and, and, and fictional. Like, I don't usually write stories about myself, uh, first, whatever that is, first, second person. Um, they're all fictional, person A, this is how he may have felt um, being alone or, um, and so I try to imagine what that person might be thinking or feeling or, and trying to put that in words, I guess, is generally how I do. But yeah, most of the songs are fictional, and, but yeah, there's no, they, they tend to be, de I, I call them depressing. <laughs> it's, it's just a, res a retrospective, I guess, of how somebody might feel in a certain situation. So, yeah. Empathy, right? Yeah. Yeah. So what motivated you to take me up on my offer? Um, I am exploring all things right now, and again, recording, um, I just, like, the, today's song uh, that we're working on, which doesn't have a name, um, it, again, it's, I've had words for a while, but I'm, I've just created this in the last two days, the musical parts for it, and I'm, I was just super excited, and I saw the emails, like, oh yeah, I want to do this, and I thought it'd be just a great opportunity to force me to, okay, well, here's song number, whatever number it is, and, and, uh, get me to do it, so, yeah. Can you tell me about the song that we're, uh that we're doing today? The words probably would have been done, again, when I was 20, 20 or 23 or something like that. I have all these 
chords written down, which I had no idea what they meant back in the day. It's just about wanting to be something. Um, so it like has words like, um, um, the song actually, I, I called it the painter at the time. And it's just about like, I won't be able to paint another mountain because um, I was told I was finished. So people telling you, I guess, and it's all the different types um, of way. People telling you you can't do something, but you can. So I think that's the general meaning of the song. So, yeah. Story. 